Hello, Jim McGrew here again. Um, I want to show you something uh, I've been checking out over the last few days. I, I actually uh, subscribed to the designer version of this software Mosaic about, uh, well, I guess about a week, week and a half ago. And uh, then within a few days, I upgraded to the CNC version because uh, I found out real quick that uh, it is very usable. Um, it was written by the guys who uh, uh, started cabinetware and I'm going to presume cabinet vision many 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 years ago and I've had cabinetware since 1997 and um, but uh, you know looking for something to basically simplify and help teach us in the cam heads uh, um, you know how to keep growing in cabinetry and using our machines this is going to be one really cool piece of software um, you can look up mosaic.com uh, I guess it is and check it out but uh, you know, um, basically you pay by the month. I think your initial impact is three months, but you still pay by the month. You're, and then uh, after that, I guess it's monthly or optional or annual or whatever you kind of want to choose. But it, uh, basically it's a maximum of about $125. They've already done a post-processor for the Cam Heads machine, uh, the Cam Master X3 and ITC machines. And uh, there are a few people getting started with it. So it's in its infancy, but it will do pretty much anything you want. Um, what I've done here is uh, create a small job called McGrew CNC Setup, which is the name of my job. And, um, you know, I'm just going to give you a quick view of it. But you go through your settings and you get to choose um, your uh, your materials, uh, drawer fronts. In this case, I'm going to use a uh, slab uh, for a base door, a slab for a wall door, slab for a drawer front, because... 95% of everything I do is casework these days. Uh, uh, I thought this was really cool. Um, you have all these options for colors and textures. And I actually went on the Wilson Art uh, website and uh, obtained a JPEG of the Kalahari Topaz material and use that for my exterior texture. My interior will be white melamine. And my countertops will be Brazilian Topaz, which uh, is a real popular color. Uh, but they've got granites and basically any JPEG texture or color material you want from any supplier. You just basically copy and paste it directly into uh, these Windows files uh, and then use it as you wish. Um, you know, um, uh, I, I build in frameless cabinets. I've already gone through and um, set up some defaults, you know, but I've got a long way to go on it. Uh, once you go to room, you get to pick your uh, layouts and then... Once you've picked your layout, you basically lay it out by walls, T walls, where windows are, sinks, uh, fridge, range, dishwashers, doors, outlets, and you know which are basically the primary issues. But uh, the software is very powerful. Um, I've yet to own a software I've ever been able to um, totally figure out how to use completely. Um, but uh, you know this has obviously got a lot of potential. Now I'm going to click on wall one and. Um, uh, basically going to products and in products is where you get to choose your cabinets that you're going to put in and if you look up here in this this uh, upper right hand corner up here it's going to kind of show you the cabinets and you know again I've gone through and set some parameters um, I'm going to go and look at elevation here and I'm noticing something that um, I've got a 36 inch sink base and I've got a 34 inch wall cabinet and um, I want it to line up so I'm going to change that to a 36 and hit enter and I'm going to stretch it to the left. But if you notice, it did not. It changed this to, a, to an 18 and basically uh, overcompensated it. So I'm going to um, try to figure out how to bump that thing to the right a little bit. And we got a 2 over 2, 24 over 24, 17 over 17, 36 over 36. And now, see, you can use this little slider down here. This is really cool to reconnect it. And now I've got the ends of my cabinets. Um, you can come in and, uh, you know, auto build countertops. Go in and see your elevation, and you'll see your countertop built. Uh, you've got options for molding, um, how to, orders. You can basically, and this is kind of cool, you can go to print once you set up your list, and you're going to get a clean list to send out to the floor of what the cabinets are and so forth. But going back to the job, uh, you can set up pricing and uh, invo invoices and tax and all that sort of stuff. It's not how I do it, uh, but 
Um, it can be done if you need to do it that way. You go on into cut list and it's going to give you a complete cut list for your entire job. Okay, for all the parts that you've set up in your parameters, your unfinished ends, finished ends, bottoms, here's shelves, you know, unfinished ends, uh, toe kicks, and so forth. Now, when I go to optimize, I'm going to choose my three quarter plywood. And again, I'm just kind of breezing through this just to give you a quick little glance of how it. Uh, how it runs through. Now in Optimize, it's going to tell me I have not selected a machine because you see I've preset up my tooling in my machine. So at this point I will come in here and pick my Cam Master ATC 508, which I have already set up to um, use a 3 8 inch bit for cutting and a 5 millimeter bit for shelf pin holes, etc, etc. And once I do that and hit Optimize, it's going to then, um, you know, basically I'll blow this up so maybe you can see it, but it's going to give me again a complete list of all my parts and you can go in here and view the sheets of uh, exactly what your optimization is you can see my pretty little my pretty little 3 8 inch kerf and there's my uh, construction holes and shelf pin holes for sides shelf pin holes for wall cabinet sides you can click on a part and find out that it's a shelf um, here's a shelf uh, this would be a shelf this would be an unfinished end a right unfinished end uh, basically I can tell probably I don't have my uh, 32 millimeter holes optimized top and bottom which is why it has a top and a bottom here's an unfinished end left and so forth um, I can scroll through the sheets and again any part I want to kick click on and find out what it is there's a front toe or every part has a number every part is assigned to a cabinet um, again I can pick any sheet and go to print and again it's going to print me out a list and a sheet for each one if I need it's uh, got the capacity to do labels and all that good stuff but uh, you know once I get it this far and can take it to code um, at that point um, I can oh and also the SketchUp feature this is really cool um, you know in SketchUp you can come in and use SketchUp it's got layers and and uh, you know the, the capacities again are probably far beyond what I'm ever going to use but uh, going back to uh, you know, let's go back to the job for a minute. Um, I told you a minute ago that uh, um, in products that uh, I had picked uh, Kalahari Topaz, and again, you've got the ability to see floor plans and elevations and uh, with doors and without doors, and you know, but uh, you can look at their video for that. But uh, the, the the use of the SketchUp for your presentation, there's my Kalahari Topaz uh, um, material on my laminate and there's my uh, Brazilian topaz countertops you know for presentation um, the construction details uh, you know again I've got a lot to learn look how it edge banded this particular cabinet in white and it edge banded this particular cabinet in uh, Kalahari topaz and I don't know why but again uh, I'm telling you I just breezed through this thing in just a matter of a few days and got this far and knowing what I know about software um, you know that's just uh, um, something that uh, I can tell you is uh, just uh, <laughs> you know I am no software guru and uh, but I, I'm really liking this software and I can tell that um, you know I'm getting that new Cam Master X3 this week and I'm going to be able to to uh, um, take it straight to code uh, I'm getting a bigger vacuum on this one and um, you know, there's, you know, using white edge banding and, and Kalahari Topaz on the exterior. I could actually do that, but um, I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna try to dive into it for the next three months and see if I can take it, uh, you know, all the way to fruition. But, uh, again, uh, being able to optimize and, uh, you know, pick my machine and take it straight to code you know it's all here and again they've they've got a uh, um, they've got a, uh, a really good set of training videos they've got a forum 
they're out in California, so you got to wait a little while for them to wake up in the morning if you're on the East Coast. But from that moment forward until late in the night, I'm always getting responses on that forum. And uh, for me, forum support is the new way of support in this, uh, in this economy. No machine company, no support company can no longer afford to be, and nor can a shop afford to be having techs out in their shop. Uh, it's too expensive and the travel and everything else. And with the advent of uh, online and direct communication, Skype, cross loop, go to meeting, um, you know, there's no reason that travel cost other than for physical characteristics of maintenance or having to actually work on the machines, uh, you know, do you, do you need to be getting involved in that anymore? Things have changed in our market and uh, it is no longer prohibitive for a small one, two, three man shop doing, um, you know, 175 to $300,000 a year in sales to um, be prohibited from having a CNC and, and uh, seeing their uh, proficiency and in sales increase, um, you know, a CNC may not uh, may not take your market into into the stratosphere, but it'll sure as hang may put you at the top of what you do have. Um, I'm a big proponent of a small shop owning CNC in some form and uh, go into software in some form, and uh, you know, it it truly is the cutting edge that uh, was pretty much reserved for shops uh, with uh, large cash flows. And that's just not the case anymore. Um, there's no reason uh, you can't be involved in this. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. It's uh, my little exposure to uh, this program. Uh, thank you for watching.